What's up, Unbox Fam? Welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. My name is Jamie, and I just got home from my trip to Japan where Sony had us experience these the Sony WF1000X Mark III, their newest noise canceling earbuds. And I think these are gonna be my newest travel buddies, pun intended, of course and they're never leaving my bag ever again. Now I already unboxed these things, but let me show you what comes inside the packaging. You have the earbuds, of course, it's charging case, a bunch of extra tips to ensure you get a snug fit, a USB-C charging cable, and a bunch of documentation. Now the first reason why I think these are gonna be part of my everyday carry from now on is of course its portability. Now we all know that Sony is one of the go-to brands for personal audio and one of their headphones that I've been dying to get for myself is the Sony WH-1000X M3s, but I'm pretty glad that I held off on buying them. Now don't get me wrong, they sound amazing and a lot of big names in the YouTube community actually gave it a ton of praise, picking it over its competition. My main problem was making it fit with the rest of my essentials for trips like this one to cover different launch events. To give you guys a better idea of what I bring with me on trips such as this, I have my laptop which is a 15 inch MacBook Pro and this case that houses all of my camera gear which sadly doesn't leave much room for anything else in my backpack. Of course, that won't be an issue for these because of how compact they are. They easily fit into whatever bag I'm bringing with me on the road or if I don't want to bring a bag at all, I can just pop them in my pocket, no problem. The second reason why these are now my favorite travel companions, aside from Leia of course, is because of the noise cancelling that gives me a sense of my own space while I'm in transit. The noise cancellation on these things are superb despite their size. Off the bat, they already have pretty great sound isolation because they're in-ear, but having active noise cancellation makes a huge difference. Now, if you're gonna be commuting in the Philippines, I personally think that you shouldn't be using noise cancelling since I want you guys to be more aware of your surroundings for safety reasons, but let me tell you that they work incredibly well while I was taking the subway in Tokyo and on the plane back home as well. You do have touch controls on these earbuds, so if you need to hear what's going on around you, you can just hold the left earbud for ambient sound control. These are customizable via the Sony headphones app. Okay, so they're easy to take around and the noise cancelling is great, but how do they sound? Well, I think they sound pretty good. I'll give it to you straight though. If you consider yourself a bit of an audiophile, you're gonna want to get the WH-1000X M3s instead of these because they don't support LDAC and there's no APTX as well. You do have DCHX though, and the easiest way for me to explain how it works is that it basically upscales the music you're listening to to get it as close as it can to having high-res audio, much like how some of their TVs can upscale 1080p content to 4K. Now, I don't consider myself an audiophile, but I think they sound pretty good. I tried a variety of tracks during my time with it so far, from this Tito's 90s alternative tracks to a bit of K-pop. The vocals were clear, the bass had a satisfying punch, and overall, I think they're pretty balanced. You can tweak the EQ within the app and customize it to your preference, but I think the sound quality of the WF-1000X M3s gets a thumbs up considering its size. Now, another reason why I like these earbuds so much is its battery life. To better experience this earphone, Sony booked a private train experience that took us from Shinjuku to Chichibu. That's a two hour train ride and the battery on these buds went from 100% to 70. They rated the battery life on the WF-1000X M3s to last six hours with at least three full charges in the carrying case. So that brings you to a total of 24 hours worth of juice. So this will prove to be excellent for long haul flights. The last reason is the stability of its Bluetooth connection. They've done a lot of upgrades with this iteration of this device, prompting them to even skip a number because of the leap they made. One initial concern was with the latency that the Mark 1s had since those had to connect to one earbud and then the signal had to relay to the other one, which created noticeable lag, especially when watching videos. That's not the case for these as they now connect simultaneously to your phone, which definitely solved that issue. As I mentioned, the connection to my phone was incredibly stable too. It didn't drop once while I was traveling. We do have one concern for these truly wireless earbuds though, the lack of an IP certification. And we know how hot and humid it gets here in the Philippines, plus the rainy season is in full swing as well. And while I don't intend to wear them while it's raining, it's the sweat part that I'm worried about. We'll see how it holds up to this country's sweltering heat. 
Now this is just my initial take on Sony's newest truly wireless earbuds, but if everything continues on as they have so far, these are going to have a permanent spot in my everyday carry. The Sony WF-1000X M3 is priced at 12,999 pesos. We'll have a full review up for you guys on the website very soon, so make sure you check back in a couple of days. I'll update the description down below once it's up. There you have it guys, if you want to check out the Sony WF-1000X M3s, they'll be having a week-long event in Greenbelt 5 from August 5 to 12, so you can try them out to see if they'll be your next travel buddy too. Now before we go, remember there's still a giveaway for two Marvel-themed Logitech wireless mice, so if you want a chance to win one of them, I'll leave a link in the description down below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews, head to Unbox.ph plus follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. My name is Jamie, peace, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time.